Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And things are getting tense here on Pronghorn Ranch, guys. Um, John has done a respectable job of trying to build a new life for him and his family here on the ranch, but there's been certain situations that have been popping up that he's had to revert to the Marston of old, and Abigail and Jack are not really fans of that. Um, we had to beat up some ruffians who were about to shoot Abe, and when we went into town to go pick up some mail, we ran into a bunch of gentlemen that basically wanted revenge for a previous killing that John had done. So yeah, I wonder how bad that's going to get. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and talk to Mr. Geddes, who is sitting here arguing I won't hear with the missus. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Smile and wave, boys. At least now we can go ahead and have a chat with these Mr. two. Mr. Milton, I should like to have a word with you. Uh-huh. Milton? Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh... It's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. What's on the menu? Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. <laughs> I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. That was a nice family moment. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Good night, John boy. Good night, Mary Ellen. Oh, what crap. What are, you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh, hell's bells. They got Dickens over by the stable. Find Tom Dickens. We nearly got hit by a horse. Find Tom. Who's this? New hand. Oh Lord. Oh. Protect Tom. Okay, he's not dead. Jim. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I like it. They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me! Oh, Abigail's gonna love this. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Ooh. I lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Right out to Hanging Dog yeah, Ranch. Yeah. Wait a minute, is that the... Is that the ranch that Sadie and I... <laughs> yes, indeed. Okay. Well, I'm sad to see that the new tenants aren't particularly polite. Right. Though I think there may be a real estate vacancy here before too much longer. Again. <laughs> as long as we avoid the cabin with the bear, I think we'll be in good shape. 
and that is some ominous music. Nice night for it. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. We're regulators. Yeah. There's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and he's wearing Arthur's hat, too. It's serious business. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn? I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Come have a word with me. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? As many as money can buy. Now get out of here, Hayseed, before you get a hole in your head. Just shoot him. Oh, okay, well, they shot first. I don't feel bad. Whoa, okay. I tried being reasonable. He tried. He did. Guess we're shooting this. They come with cattle. Jim Hill. Look out, Tom. Let me do Wait, is there a yep? Send him back to Kenny's in a box. Oh Lord. They're always in the barn. They don't know how to not be in the barn. Okay, we're switching over. Oh, we are not in a good way. Do we have... There's more coming! Okay. They're here now, let's deal with them! They walk into it now! Back to the rifle. I don't think that's gonna work. Ah, come on. There we go. Last one. Where are you? you done you're gonna pay all right oh it's you that loud mouth right. oh he mentioned the wife I got this you boys take cattle see you back there son okay before we go in there he can go ahead and wait we're just procuring things that we can sell off to uh, help the family And also, normally when a mission ends, the law tends to come in the middle of the looting. 
And that's the last thing that we need right now. We don't seem to be on any kind of time limit. Abe and them seem to be doing a good job getting the cattle out. Those are, there's a few more corpses, but I think we've gotten the gist of it. And everyone lived. We oh no, they closed the barn door. You ain't so talky now, are you? Knock knock. Where are you? Oh, boo. Hey, 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 hey. Made me lose my hat. Okay, he is a little bit more formidable than before. Here. Oh. Grab him. I don't want to lose to this guy. And I, oh, I can't switch over to my knife. There we go. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheep dip, get the stink of you off of her. Farmhand! <laughs> That's right off the cover of Red Dead 1. Whoo! Uh, shit. Yeah. Pick up your hat there, John. And let us procure... A silver pocket watch. And some bitters. Now, they're... Man, it looks like there's there's guns everywhere. Drop John's cattleman revolver. What's the condition? Hmm. I don't know if there's anything that I kind of want to grab. The sawed-off shotgun looks great though. You know what? We're going to leave John's cow. I don't know. It, that looks specific, though. We can always get a sawed-off shotgun. That's fine. Okay, yeah, that sounds see. ominous. All right, back to Pronghorn. We'll leave a few corpses behind. Maybe to help pay for the funeral. <laughs> oh, what is what are Abigail and Jack gonna say? Oh, easy there, Rachel. I did not see that rock there. I'm glad you're able to jump it. She is probably going to give us another stern talking to. I don't know, this, we killed a lot of people. Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you. <laughs> You saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Please. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe, just in case you stay up? Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. John's taking over security. What? 
What? Oh, that look. What choice did I have? Just answer me that. Ooh, What's she... I supposed to do? When Abigail ain't talking, that's bad. Sorry, John. Bad luck, John. Motherhood. And not for beginners Mr. and Jim? No, not for idiots. Mr. Jim. Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. Who would Wait, know where, where we are? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's a shame. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Well, let's figure out who's trying to contact us. Might be a member of the old gang. The Pony Express. Let's not shoot the messenger. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Okay, they went by what? Jim. Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got hey. something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Yeah, it's been many, many moons. Speak to Abigail at the house. Yeah, another thing she's going to absolutely love. You were losing all of your wife faction there, John. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Abigail! Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. It's literally a Dear John letter. Oh, is that the gift? Oh, it's his shirt. Oh, I got goosebumps. <clears throat> That's his shirt from the end of Red Dead. Where's the wife, Milton? Um, uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? I hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry. Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting, unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done, unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. 
What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Return to work. Okay. What are we doing? Milk cow. Clean stalls. Fix vents. I'm sensing a theme here. Well, it does, uh... Get your mind off of things. Or if not that, at least get your mind in order as how you're going to pursue the problem. But it's really, uh, it's just, I, John can't win. I said before in the last episode, what was he supposed to do? That was a situation where we really just needed to pack up and leave. If we were in a situation where we could get, we could shoot people and get shot at, then it was time to go find another profession. Montage time. That's probably so... It, it's at the same time it's good, but it's very repetitive. Oh, he's going to be doing this for a long time. A few months later. Holy crap. What are Abigail and Jack doing around this time? They could be in Strawberry still. That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. <laughs> it's so weird to hear him say Mr. Dickens in a uh, friendly manner. Go to the Getty's house. Oh, is something bad going to happen here? We can get propositioned by the... Oh, we could get propositioned by the wife again. Uh-oh. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own. So I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan? A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. Had enough Just about joking, boats. Son. Just make sure you deal with <laughs> Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. 
and then all of this can be yours. We break. Oh my god. Yes. Please tell. Oh, our. It's the suit up montage. Oh! Goosebumps again. He's in his old school bounty hunting costume or garb. Looking like the John Marston of old. Okay, so what what do we have? Ansel Atherton. Oh, we can go to Blackwater. Hell's Bells. Or we can go see Sadie and Valentine. Well, we can head down to Blackwater if we want to, but Sadie's been very patient with us. So we probably need to go ahead and travel that way. <laughs> cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. Very old brother, where art thou? Too fast, and I've been living too long. Cruel, cruel world, I'm gone. This big old world sure got me running around. I heard a voice that said, just settle down. This freaking game, man. And with the moonlight as my guide, and with this feeling deep inside, I know now that I am homeward bound. Is that Willie? Cruel, cruel world, must I go home? Sounds just like him. Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. Might have to check that out. Is someone riding up behind us? Well, that, that's obvious, but...
I was realizing I was talking during the song, so... I don't think that's Willie Nelson. It does sound a lot like him, though. Ooh, and that's some heavy rain. How far... Are we to Valentine? Oh! Okay, we are almost there. That's actually a good time to go ahead and get a uh, shave. And start looking like the John Marston of old. More so than uh, we already have. Now, actually, one thing also. Look at all these little houses and things. I have completely, we completely ignored when we first played the game. And I kind of want to explore all of them. And this series will last forever if I do that, though. But it certainly is tempting. Might be something I do as an online project or some, or as a, a streaming project or something. I don't know. Oh, it's so cool to see John in his old school duds. Okay, you can go ahead and turn off the cinematic camera. And it's 11 a.m., so we rode pretty much through the night. Or at least a good portion of the morning. Now, another thing I'm curious about is will I be able to, uh, if you guys remember my playthrough of Red Dead 1, I always wore a coat, too, with the bounty hunting gear, so that could be something I need to consider. Oh, it's not going to let me through the side entrance. Okay, how about here? Nope. Guess I gotta go talk to Sadie. Before we do that, though... Thank you, Rachel, very much. Did a good job. Good girl. Don't have any food for you, but I'm gonna go by the general store and take care of that here before too much longer. Now, in terms of the horse cargo, what do we have? And we got the stuff that we... Oh, wait a... No, we got the meteorite. So we did keep some of our stuff. Well, that's good, at least. Now, if we go into... Um... Horse. Hold on. Do we have all of our... S yes, we do. We've got Callaway's Revolver. Cool. Well, you know what? As much as I like John's Cattleman Revolver, I think... I'm going to break out the other show field and just rock out Arthur's stuff. Got the repeater. Now we got the Litchfield repeater, right? That's supposed to be... Well, it's a different type. Eh. Yeah, that's fine. Let's grab a good shotgun. The pump action, I think, has served us particularly well. One manned armory. Do we want to start the mission with Sadie, though? Right off the bat. Is she going to yell at us when we... Oh, I hear a ruckus. So she is definitely... I don't think age has changed her all that much. Is that horse soaked in blood? If so, then that is definitely Sadie's horse. But 
Before we do anything, though. Howdy, mister. You new in town? There's a little nook there if you need something for your camp. Looks like you travel a lot, so worth having a look and see. All right, then. Let's have a look. Got plenty of gun oil. Hair pomade. I don't think that John would need that necessarily. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and see what we can buy. We got $34 to our name. Just caring about horse stuff at the moment. Because I think we've got... I think we still have stimulants and all this. But I guess I'm looking for... Food. Yeah, I guess that, that would make sense. Let's just go ahead and... Back to the index. Two provisions. I had an old lady shoplift in here the other day. Can you believe that? Scandalous. Apple, yes. Thank you. Carrot. That'll be good for uh, Rachel. Some canned salmon. Good doing business with you. Sold out of that. And I guess we'll find more as we go along. I'm not that worried about it. That's all done, then. Do I have horse stuff? I got aged pirate rum. And an opened health cure. Eh. Yeah, I think we're probably gonna hold off here. I wonder if the veteran's still here. The guy with, uh, out an arm. He is here! Oh wow, he looks rough. Mickey! He's talking for a second and then man, he's he's in bad shape. Kinda looks like Mr. Pearson. Okay, I thought we could have talked to him, I guess not. Oh, newspaper, yes. Ah! The newspaper guy left. Oh! Wait, wait. L2. Hey! How's it going? Can you, uh. What you looking at? You got a problem. Ooh, I guess I look kind of rough. Yeah, that's right. Show me some damn respect. What was I doing? I guess I was causing a ruckus. Go on, get going. Might be his dad. <laughs> like, why are you looking at my boy like that? So weird. And it, 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 it Valentine hasn't changed that much since the uh, since Arthur and the gang had been by here. Can we go in and talk to? Well, it's a new century. You think you're I'm a real here. curly wolf, don't you? Careful. Oh. Another one. Yeah. Hi. Hey. <clears throat> oh, can I get oatmeal? Sure. Why not? Can I get the oh. oatmeal, please? Some of them Quaker oats. Made by real Quakers. Finish that quick. Yeah, well, I haven't eaten in like five episodes. Thank you. Excuse me, big man. You got a real problem. Man, John's got John's got an attitude. I love it. Okay, 
now we will go ahead and look at the newspaper. Exchange of free fall. You're doing all right. Do you like an issue? Yes, I would, please. I'll take one. I'll take quite a few. See ya. And see what's been going on here. Bridge blown. Terrific explosion. Right Cornwall up, murdered. Valentine. Wow. Right Vanderlyn gang close to capture. Strong lungs. The weekly roundup. Several dead. Wagon hijacked in Van Horn. Assassins ambush rich man in Ansburg. <laughs> Army general praises troops. Read all about it in the Gazette, folks. Theodore and Maud Hammond are better. Cecil, Battling Chills, Electric Lights, hmm, okay, let's go, let's look and see what's happened now, because I know I've, I have missed some things, but this is the most recent. Panic of 1907, stock market crashes, exchange and free fall, economy on the edge. President Waxman hails progress, discusses canal. New railroad completed. No oil found at Wapiti. Oh. All you need to know in the new Hanover Gazette. Oil reserves discovered on land near the Wapiti Indian Reservation in 1899 have turned up dry. So all of that, all of those people dead for nothing. Many members of the tribe were gunned down in Wyoming, but a few members are believed to have escaped into Canada. It is unknown what will happen to the Indian reservation land moving forward as there are no Indians in the area to relocate there Step currently. Right up, Step right up. Small farms disappearing, swallowed by large cattle interests. Laramie oh, Corps offering buyouts. God awful. Oh, I'm sorry I asked. Romance novel proves bestseller. Author Leslie DuPont's fourth tome proving very successful. Bounties beware, Langton is hot on the trail. Radio miracle. Music transmitted through the air. Sickness spreads. We hear reports of rampant sickness and disease at Butcher Creek. Gazette reporter was dispatched to investigate. Hey, yes indeed. New railroad. The Art of Angling by Jeremy Gill. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting stuff. But I think it's time to go ahead and end the episode here in Valentine, guys. Um, John Marston is back. Without his family in his bounty hunting gear, all he needs is a shave and we'll be in good shape. But we'll take care of that, I guess, after we talk to Sadie in the next episode. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.